A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done unto me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The memorial of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the patroness of the Americas, reminds us of the Blessed Mother's constant intercession for us, her beloved children. Her apparitions to Juan Diego invite humanity to repent and embrace her son in fidelity and newness of life. Like our earthly mothers, Mary never fails to guide and support us because she is the closest to the Son, our Lord and Savior. While on earth, she gave her all to bring up God's only begotten Son and followed Him all the way to Calvary. She was Jesus' mother. She is our mother too. Her life is a shining example of God's graciousness, especially towards humble and lowly people who are most docile and receptive to God's will. In the midst of the lure of power and honor in this ever-increasingly secularized world, may we keep our eyes fixed on the example of Mary, the lowly handmaid of the Lord, the bearer of God's Son. What part does Mary play in your life and relationship with God?